we're asked to use a graph on the graphing calculator to solve the system of equations. Because we have two equations with two unknowns, a solution is an ordered pair x comma y that satisfies both equations. In order to solve this system by graphing using the T84 graphing calculator, we first need to solve both equations for y. So we need to solve three x plus two y equals six for y, and we need to solve x minus two y equals negative six for y. So solving this equation for y, the first step is to isolate the y term, and therefore to undo or eliminate three x from the left side, we will subtract three x on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, again subtracting three x undoes positive three x, but three x minus three x is zero. So now we have two y equals, on the right side we have six minus three x, or we want negative three x plus six. And then finally to solve for y, we need to undo this multiplication. To undo multiplying by two, we need to divide both sides by two. So we'll divide the left side by two. When we divide the right side by two, we'll divide each term by two. So simplifying, dividing by two undoes multiplying by two. So the left side simplifies to y, or two divided by two is one, one times y is y. On the right side, we have negative three halves x plus six divided by two is three. And now we want to solve x minus two y equals negative six for y. So we'll subtract x on both sides. Simplifying, x minus x is zero, or subtracting x undoes positive x. We have negative two y equals, on the right side, negative six minus x, or negative x minus six. To undo this multiplication, we'll divide both sides by negative two. Dividing by negative two undoes multiplying by negative two, or negative two divided by negative two is one, one times y is y, equals, on the right side, if it's helpful, we can put a one here. Negative one over negative two is positive one half, so we have one half x. And then we have minus six divided by negative two, which would be minus negative three, or plus three. We can also just think of this as negative six divided by negative two is positive three, and therefore we have plus three. Now that we have both equations in slope-intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b, we can graph these lines on the graphing calculator. Before we do, for review, remember m is the slope and b is the vertical intercept or y-intercept. So this line has a slope of negative three halves, this line has a slope of one half. This line has a vertical intercept or y-intercept of positive three, and notice so does this one. So this example is kind of a special case because notice how both lines have the same vertical or y-intercept, and therefore the point of intersection should be the ordered pair zero comma three, the vertical intercept of both lines. But this won't always be the case, so let's go ahead and graph these lines on the graphing calculator. Again, we press y equals. If there are any old equations, we can press clear and then enter, and it will clear the equations from y1, y2, and so on. So in y1, we'll enter negative three halves x, so negative three divided by two, x plus three, enter, and y two will enter one half x plus three. So one divided by two x plus three. To make sure we have the standard window, we can press zoom and then six for z standard. So there's a graph of the first line, and there's a graph of the second line. And notice how the two lines do intersect at the vertical intercept, which is the order pair zero comma three, but of course this won't always be the case, so let's review how we determine the point of intersection on the T84. We press second trace for the calculation menu. We want to select option five, so we can arrow down, highlight five, and press enter, or just press five. And now we're going to be asked three questions. The first question is, are we on the first curve? Whenever we only have two graphs, we don't really have to worry about this, but notice how if I arrow right, we are on the graph or line given by y1, press enter. The next question is, are you on the second curve, or in our case, the second line, which we are, so we press enter. And now it's asking us to guess, which means the calculator wants us to move the cursor closer to the point of intersection, which really isn't required, but let's go ahead and do that. We'll arrow right until we're very close to that point of intersection, press enter. 
and now the cursor is on the point of intersection, and the ordered pair for that point is down here, the ordered pair is zero comma three, or the solution is when x equals zero and y equals three. So our solution is x equals zero and y equals three, which is often expressed as an ordered pair, or the ordered pair would be zero comma three. As an ordered pair, if the variables are x and y, the first value is always x, the second value is always y. Before we go though, let's algebraically verify that this ordered pair does satisfy both equations. Using the equation three x plus two y equals six, in the equation x minus two y equals negative six, we'll substitute zero for x and three for y to make sure this ordered pair does satisfy both equations. So performing substitution here, we'd have three times x, which is zero, plus two times y, which is three, equals six. Well, three times zero is zero, so we have zero plus six equals six. Zero plus six is six. So because six equals six is true, the ordered pair satisfies the first linear equation. And now for the second equation, again, we make the same substitutions. So we'd have zero minus two times three equals negative six. Well, we have zero minus six equals negative six. Zero minus six is negative six. So again, because negative six equals negative six is true, this verifies the ordered pair satisfies both equations and our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.